Hey runners, happy Sunday, November 1st, and I am sitting out here in uh, the back patio. It's uh, about 90, 91 degrees right now, uh, which is almost 10 degrees uh, warmer than we should be here for Phoenix. Um, it's been a very warm, or it was a very warm summer, and the fall is starting out the same although we did have a pretty chilly week the week before um, this past week we were uh, in the 80s or so mid 80s upper 80s uh, the morning lows have been nice though it's uh, it's been in the uh, 60s and uh, we'll be creeping up a little bit more for the next uh, five days as far as the morning lows so we might be like in the upper 60s um, for temps so anyways um, I wanted to let you know um, what I did over the weekend and you know how things have been going for my run since uh, the last video by the way if uh, you're new to this channel thanks for watching um, be sure to subscribe down at the bottom if you haven't already done so and um, anyway so let's get started so uh, this week was um, very similar to last week. I did 30 miles the week before um, <clears throat> for my weekly miles. And I've been um, kind of going um, a little bit off on the uh, on the rise as far as the mileage is concerned for the past like three weeks or so. I've been feeling pretty good. Um, you know, the month of October, I was in the mid to upper 20s and uh, ended last week um, with 30 miles so I figured you know I'll uh, get close to the same if not you know maybe a little bit more uh, what I've been doing I've been running pretty much most days of the week sometimes what I'll do like on a Friday is I'll just do I've got this route that I was doing for gosh like two months or so or two and a half months I call it a progress route because after COVID um, I would do this route at just what I thought was like my easy easy pace or easy effort and um, you know try to keep my heart rate low and it was only 1.58 miles um, and see what I would do and and I call it progress route because I wanted to see how my progress was um, over the weeks and months um, and yeah, I, I progressed nicely. Um, when I ran it the week before, I did that in like, I wanted to say it was under 16 minutes, like 1550 some, which was really good. And my heart rate was, you know, fairly low. At the same basically effort, um, I shaved off from the very beginning, like over two months ago, I took off um, like two and a half, three minutes, but of course, you know, right after COVID is when I was really running slowly, like close to 12 minutes a mile. So um, the last couple of weeks, I've been um, running four miles to four and a half miles, like Monday, when, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then on Thursday, I would scale it back a little to three miles. And then Friday would be that, you know, progress route that I called it. This week, I changed it up just a little. I did... Um, for the first three days of the week, you know, I think I did like a 4.6, um, four and like a four and a half. And then on Thursday, um, I did, it was three miles. Um, it might have been four actually. And then um, I did a couple miles also on Friday. Um, and then yesterday, I got out a little bit early because my wife was doing this um, half marathon race. So there was a race here um, in our neighborhood put on by um, a coach and a friend of ours who um, we've done some of his local races here um, really just down the street basically. All these races in the last couple months have been you know, like three miles from our house which is great. Um, so it's you know been like five k's and um, yesterday was a half marathon and a half marathon relay in this area called Lakewood, which is uh, about a two and a half mile um, 
loop, um, circle, whatever you want to call it, um, that you can, you know, it's not completely flat. There are some areas where you go up a little bit. I wouldn't say it's like a real steep climb, and gradual, um, but it's nice. Um, you can run on the inside or the outside. We usually, you know, run um, on the, uh, against traffic, as a lot of runners do here, um, just so that we can see the cars and, you know, um, feel safer doing so. So I got out at like 5.20 in the morning. I drove down there, parked at the school, kind of where the start of the race was going to be. And then I just set out to do um, six to seven miles. That's that's my long run right now, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I mean, especially based on the miles. You know, if I'm putting in close to 30 miles a week, good rule of thumb is approximately 20% of that, which would be um, six miles. So, you know, give or take a mile or two. Um, so I went out there on Lakewood and I started out by going in a clockwise motion. Um, when you do Lakewood, when you start out clockwise um, at the school, it's pretty flat and then there's a, you know, I'd say a little bit of a climb, not that bad at all. And then it levels out and then it goes nice and downhill for a little bit. Um, so you can kind of pick up your pace a bit, which is nice. Um, and there's also a little cut through in the middle when you get to the top of that loop you can come and come down uh, this paved area uh, so I did that I did one loop at uh, two and a half and then I did another like I guess you'd say mile mile and a half or so and then I cut down the middle um, and I was feeling really good my goal was to keep it just a little bit faster than 10, you know, maybe 950. I was feeling really good. Um, I stopped once to, uh, you know, speak with our friend Flash, who's the coach putting on the race. He was starting to kind of get the, um, the course, uh, you know, mapped out, coned out, so that uh, all the runners knew where they were going. So I stopped and chatted with him for about two, three minutes, caught my breath, and then took off, and then I saw my wife Carrie and ran back with her and finished seven miles. I did that in exactly 107, um, which was a 933 pace. And I was I was pleased with it. I never felt like I was really out of breath. You know, I was checking my heart rate with my carotid because the, the heart rate um, is a little bit off on the Garmin, to be honest with you, on the watch, on the, the optical heart rate, so yeah, my heart rate was like around 100 and average about 126 or so, 128. Um, close to like a 76, 78% effort, which is good. Um, you know, am I back to 100%? No, not quite, but I would say that I'm getting pretty close. For this same run or effort, you know, like seven miles, um, my 9.33 would probably be closer to like a nine minute pace. Um, this is before you know COVID back in the middle of July. That's what I would be running. Uh, my easy runs lately have been um, about 10, 15 or so. So I'm, I'm feeling good. Uh, I'm making progress, I'm enjoying it. Um, you know, I, was just thinking today, it's a new month. Um, I'm hitting 30 miles for the past two weeks, and I'd like to hold it about there. You know, you know, some weeks might be a little less, some weeks might be a little more, but um, I think I might be um, looking at, you know, doing four miles for four days, and then, um, you know, maybe shorter distance on say Friday and then doing my six seven miles on on, on Saturday and uh, just a couple miles on Sunday so yeah just a kind of a little bit of uh, what's been going on with me I feel pretty good um, we've got a couple races here in Phoenix coming up uh, by the same uh, uh, coach who um, is putting on a 5k in uh, two weeks on the 14th <clears throat> I've done that course twice. I've gone faster each time. Um, so I've got a goal in mind, what I want to hit. Um, you know, I'm going to work on the speed here on Tuesday 
usually every Tuesdays I'll do a speed workout <clears throat> um, and then uh, Thanksgiving Day he's also putting on a race um, there's a 5k which is going to be the reverse loop of the course we're doing uh, there's a 10k and like a 1.5 mile uh, race for um, like a kids race so yeah um, you know there's not tons of people racing it which is nice so we're all socially distancing you know being safe um, and the weather is kind of crazy you know we're we're gonna be 90s here today was 90 is gonna be 90s all the way through Friday and then I think we're gonna get to like I want to say 80 or so on Saturday and then 70 and then I think it might dip down into the I don't know upper 60s or something like that so it's, who knows it's just been a crazy I don't know about you guys but here in Phoenix the weather you know for the summer was hotter than normal and we shouldn't be in the low even to mid 90s as we're expected to get here soon in November our average is 81 degrees so but I mean look I'm in a tank here sleeveless shirt it's November 1st um, I can't really complain um, maybe you guys are getting snow or rain or it's just cold over there wherever you guys are at I'm curious to know where um, you guys are watching this from and uh, what you guys are doing for your training um, because I know folks up north in Flagstaff you know when it gets cold they're usually on the treadmill um, we don't have to worry about that we don't get any snow down here just maybe in the winter times might get down into uh, low 30s sometimes upper 20s for a little bit but we love the cold um, we'll take it so curious to know what you guys are up to hope um, you guys are getting in your runs and if you've done any races here this weekend or coming up we'd Love to, I'd love to know what your uh, what your goals are and um, yeah what else you guys have planned that's about it um, go out there tackle the day get your runs in make the most of it and thanks for watching guys have a great day take care bye